What's up guys? So you thought I was gonna wait until the beard grew out to make some more videos. Not the case, the show must go on. We're gonna test them as seen on TV tools. Shut up and sit down. So originally, we were gonna test out uh, some socket tools. Obviously the Gator socket, I actually have one of these. Um, and I got the, uh, the Tiger wrench, but haven't even had a chance to uh, open those yet and check them out, even though I kind of basically know how they are. But as seen on TV, we do gotta test them. This is the JRC54 channel. But today, we're gonna be testing out not a tool, but a tool helper called the magic pad or mag pad there's a bunch of them out there uh pick this thing up on amazon i'll have the link in the description below but got some video of me testing it out kind of my thoughts on it back and forth and uh we'll put this thing to the test so let's lay it down and get some uh dimensions on it and all that stuff all right guys so here it is here you can see you got about 12 magnets in there they are probably those earth magnets, your neurenium magnets. Um, it's made from uh, like a foam, like this kind of reminds me of like the drawer liner foam or memory foam. It's got like a smooth rubbery texture to it, but uh, you can see it's got little dings and dents in there for me using it. I've been testing it out for about a week now, but it seems to work pretty good. You got about, it's about a foot long, 12 inch long. That's what she said. And then you got about seven and a half tall but yeah basically i mean in the infomercial i mean they're stacking rotors they're hanging rotors off this thing you know slapping their tools on it obviously you know good points to use this things you're not dropping uh, sockets inside engine bays you know you lay this thing down somewhere underneath the hood and you can kind of put your tools on it i was using it for fasteners and all that stuff but give you guys the pros and cons on that but let's get this thing tested out real quick So I like to do some of the testing that I see in the infomercial or on the Instagram page, but they were pretty much, you know, slapping it on. I can trust that it's not going to scratch the toolbox, but they were slapping big crescent wrenches on there and little crescent wrenches. It holds, obviously, but I notice you pull it off, the crescent wrench does fall, but it does hold it. Holds your tools vertically and then we'll do, you do the rotor test so we got the rack right here and they were stacking 50 pound weights on it and rotors and such but I'm gonna slap it on I got a rotor here this nice grinder we did earlier today but slap a rotor on hold the rotor I mean, that's not the heaviest rotor, but it's definitely got some weight to it, holding it no problem. Pretty decent. That's impressive. It's not like I need to hang rotors, but hey, that's what they did in the infomercial. It passed my test, but let's mess around over there with the car. Give you my pros and cons. Sir. And they got to think, too, some of these cars um, aren't even metal nowadays, so they're not going to stick. You know, obviously we got a quarter panel here on this exploder that's metal I don't know I think the fenders see so we got this we got this exploder here and the fender it's not even metal so some of these cars you know obviously you're not going to be able to use it on because it's just not uh, you know this is a plastic fender obviously the hood you got a plastic hood or a glass hood you know it's not going to stick to it so you won't be able to use it for all cars and then i seen one in the picture where he's got the lug nuts on it you know you i guess it got a little stick here looks like it's sticking through that this this piece must be metal the door is obviously metal it'll stick to the door and then you can put the lug nuts on there taking off the tire or if you're working back here on the tail light or something in the back hatch you could slap it on the quarter panel so obviously you guys can see it's not for all cars, but you figure 
the rear quarter panel of this, this thing is metal, but you figure you're back here doing a rear blower motor or evaporator core or something like that, you got your tools, pretty much just uh, kind of keep track of them. I notice if you kind of put them close to where the magnet is, they stick a little better, but you know, hold your tools in place. They do tend to fall off. You guys can see they do fall off. Um, you got to be like super gentle with it. I know in the infomercial, the dude's like, I mean, the heavier tools are going to fall. The guy in the infomercial is like throwing tools at it and slapping them on there. But they do hold for the most part. Fasteners stick to it. Obviously, I notice you just got to be delicate with it. You know, I know in the infomercial, they're like kind of walking past a metal wall, slapping it on there, and then chucking a bunch of tools and, and hardware at it, and it's just sticking right to it. Obviously, this ain't Hollywood, fellas. This is real life stuff. So you gotta kind of be careful what you're doing. Um, I know what mine, I'll, I mean, I will talk about it at the end, but you know, I'm not gonna wanna take a handful of old, rusty, oily, greasy hardware and just slap it on this. You know, I'll try to keep it clean as possible, but if I was using, you know, I had per se, oily fasteners, I'd rather just grab a tray, throw it at the bottom of a tray, maybe set it on a rack arm or something. But for the most part, what this thing's for, um, I mean, obviously, working under those engine bays, you know, throw your sockets, maybe set this thing on top of a battery or, or a metal surface on the top where it would stick, at least get some stick with it. I don't necessarily care if it sticks to where I have it on, as long as it holds my sockets and my sockets don't fall like that little fastener just did, and, and next thing you know, you lose all your 10 millimeters forever and ever and ever, and they're gone forever to the abyss. So, but for the most part, pretty decent product. So like I said, guys, I've been using it for a couple weeks now, here and there when I can, you know, when I got scattered uh, tools and I'm not using a magnetic tray, obviously I'm not gonna put a, a bunch of nuts and bolts on this thing. But, you know, to hold your tools, you're working over a hood or something like that, to hold your tools from rolling off, like they got in the infomercial, you know, it's a, it's a good concept, good idea. Um, I know they make a few different kinds, but this one's definitely soft, definitely not gonna scratch. I mean, I'll stick it to my box, and you know, I have that much confidence in it. If I'm gonna stick this thing to my box, I know it's not gonna scratch, but you know, you just slap it on, and then you got the tools. You just put the tools on there. It's kind of how they did it in the infomercial. Try to keep the tools the same, but I mean, it definitely, uh, it definitely holds a good amount of tools on there. And then the guy, I'm not sure about that screwdriver there, but the guy uh, pretty much just takes it with all the tools still on there, pulls it off. Now oh, it actually held the screwdriver. It's like barely hanging on. But you could definitely tell the magnet has got some strength. And then he kind of walked it over to his cart, set it on his cart, and that's that. For what it is, I mean, it's, it's past the JRC 54 test, you know, um, I mean, 14, 15 bucks, you can't beat it. It beats the magnetic trays. You can't always use those things like under racks and things like that. You figure when you got a car lifted in the air, you know, you slap this sucker on the side of the rack, put a few tools there or whatever so you don't forget about them or you're under a car taking out a trans pan or something like that. These things are soaked with trans fluid. You know, obviously you're not going to want to stick, you know, the small nasty fasteners to it but they do stick you know even even if you don't place it I don't know if you guys are picking that up so you got the magnets here even if you don't actually place it where a magnet is it still kind of sticks you know it grabs a hold of it and puts it where it needs to be so that's kind of cool but like I said if these things are covered in oil or trans fluid you know I'm not going to try to get this thing real gross just in case the next time around I slap it to a fender and you'll have to keep it clean. You know, and this looks like you could probably just rinse it off and dry it. The material on there, it looks like it's cleanable. You know, maybe even hit it with some, uh, hit it with some brake clean. I don't know if it'll withstand that, but it's decent. I mean, it's, uh, I might even get a couple more of them, just slap them around the racks around here just to have some extra magnetic, you know, until they start getting loaded up with rust and then you'll have to blow them off, keep them clean. But that's it, just a quick one for you guys. The uh, Magic Pad, this one's called, or Mag Pad, I'm not actually sure, but definitely worth looking into. You guys, uh, you know, having trouble losing your 10 millimeter sockets in those engine bays and things like that, less of a headache. You know, quick one coming at you. The next, uh, as advertised tools, we'll check those socket ones. Obviously, the Gator socket, that Tiger wrench, mostly for oil changes, but I'm going to get a quick hands on, run around a shop using them on a couple of these cars, get a video out there for you guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe.
Catch you in the next one. Signing out.